there are many foreigners that are in this country and that they are doing jobs that they never imagined doing in their home countries. But they, they do it because it's a necessity. I moved to England uh, because of the recession in Greece. Crisis, there's no job, no possibility to find a job. And, if you, and even if you find one, you won't receive as much as you need to leave. But sometimes not even enough to survive. First of all, you have to, to think that uh, you are starting uh, from the beginning, uh, from the bottom. Meaning uh, maybe when you came here, you have a university career, but uh, when you are here, you have to start working everywhere. And I remember when I said goodbye to my older sister, when I was coming here, she said, I hate this country because it's this country that is making you leave. And it is true. It's the situation in Portugal. If something forces you to move to another country, it's different from um, a decision you will take for your own just to have some experiences. It's very different. I'm here because uh, I don't have any other choice. In fact, uh, there is a, a belief in Spain that there is one generation of people between the 20 years old and 35 years old, it's old generation, that is said is a lost generation. It's lost because all the people who have been studying in the university is not going to find a job about uh, their studies in, in Spain. This makes that the people have uh, no dreams. They, they don't expect anything about the, the future, about the professional life, about uh, their families. I've studied accountancy. I'm an accountant. I was working in Greece, not as an accountant, but I was working in the financial service sector in the town hall I was a civil servant. So I had a really good job for three, three, four years, four years. I study the degree of nursing for three years and a half in a private university. And then I, and, and then I work in one of the biggest hospitals in Panama. Uh, yeah, hospital from the government. So I worked there for three years. I, I am an industrial technical engineer. Uh, my specialty is chemical engineer and uh, production systems. In Spain, I work uh, mainly like a shift manager in a production company. After that, I, I was a lean manager. Uh, as well as a uh, supervisor of the radioactivity in the company. I studied psychology and when I finished my studies I, I could get one year of experience. It was like a one year contract. So I worked in a project with children and uh, teenagers from a uh, vulnerable background. It was a project in the social world, and I know I did a, a great job uh, during that year. I know well, I was good. Our job now is part of the way of our dream job. complications with the nursing and midwifery council because basically I'm not from the European country and I'm from the side of America you know so the rules are very different 
So I'm still in a long process to see if I can work as a nurse here in Britain. So meanwhile, I've been trying to find work in any sorts. Five years ago, if you would ask me, how would you imagine your life in five years? I would never tell you I would be in England. I would never. And look, I'm here just because of the recession. And of course, of course, I'm angry. And you can see that in Greece, everybody's angry with the uh, politicians because they did what they did. I kind of had all the plans and all the goals and I knew I had to be a good student, I wanted to go to university and then working a job related to what I've studied and my mom saying that because she looked at my bedroom and my my desk and everything and she just remember all the long nights of study and putting so much effort in everything. And then at the end, she said, I never thought that you wouldn't get a job here. And it is true. I never thought I wouldn't get a job in Portugal and I would have to leave. I want a definition of what I'm going to do because now my life is standby. I wanted to be a nurse here and now I just don't know what I'm doing. I can picture myself 10 years later and see me in a bar serving ales. It's not that it's bad, it's not good for me. I stopped to work in the company that I was working like engineer. I I left my the city where I born and I feel that I am the same person. That means that for me you are not your work, you are not your country, you are anything more than all of these things. I am better than just being serving people. It's okay, but it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life.